your boy King Swift, and this is the first episode of Bars on Deck Freestyle. We also gonna do a light interview. We try to get get to know who the guard is right here. We are gonna talk a little bit. We gonna get into this. Let me introduce you, or unless you wanna introduce yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got you. So today's guest, we got Benny Boy Rude. Is it Coke Boy? Yes, sir. So it's Coke Boy Benny Boy Rude. He's in the building, coming straight out of what part of Mac? Spring, Springfield, Massachusetts. Springfield, Massachusetts. Right? Yes, sir. Okay, so that was a that was a pretty crazy drive. You know what I mean? Thank you for pulling up on me. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you. You know that. I think you hit, you you reached out to me via Coke Boy, yeah, right? Through A Rab. Yep. Shout out to Coke Boy A Rab and shit. Yes, sir. Um, shout out to that man. Yes, sir. He brought me. You know what I'm saying? Like he was showing me about you and shit. And I already knew about you already. Just from, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just from following mm-hmm. and shit. So. Just seeing the platform of what you was doing, I was already like interested in general. Okay, so okay. he brought it to me. I'm like, hell yeah, like let's, let's do, do it. it. Yeah, you know let's saying? work. Let's work. Let's I get it so. on. Hell yeah. So how's y'all relationship? How did y'all link up? We met up. Um, shout out to Coke Boy Cheesy Dior. Um, shout out to Coke Boy yes, ATM Tech. Right. Um, them fellas right there. We ended up doing a song called Um I'm a Dog. Okay. We shot it on Ching's Day. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. We shot this on Ching's Day. And so, um, rest in peace, change. rest in peace, change, long live right. change, man. Big right. long live change, facts, right? Um, right there is kind of when I got my relationship with the guys, you know what I'm saying? Okay. That's kind of when I got co signed by the label when they started vouching for me, and our everything kind of changed. We shot the video that day, and then from that day on, we um, had a tour that we was on, and then ever since then, from the whole summer from May till you know, the summer until now, yeah. I've been fucking with them heavy. I'm saying like family, like it's my family. You know How was that Shout tour experience? Was that your uh, first man, one? Or? Um, for, on the Coke Boy tour, yes. I never was on a Coke Boy like mm-hmm. tour or you know, like let's say a label with something like that on a tour. Like I've messed around with shows. I've been okay. with many a show. I never was on like on the scale where it was like you know a label involved. Mm-hmm. I made your artists like shout out to French Montana and all them. Like that was a good move for me because I never you know what I mean I had that experience. You know what I'm saying exactly. as far as on a label, on, yeah, so yeah. um. They was rocking with me. I was able to perform the songs on tour with Coco Cheese Dio. He's the headliner. So, you feel me? Okay. Like, I'm getting mad exposure. You know what I'm saying? Shout yeah. out to my man DJ Chicken Beats. He was there with me on the whole journey. Well, I see you, baby. Um, that's my guy. He, he um definitely be um, with uh He was on tour with me. Um, and it was an experience, man. Like, we had fun. And um, like I said, uh, ATM Tech, that's the uh my manager. He kind of um was the guy that actually made a lot more stuff happen for me. Okay. Except it made sense more around like the New York um, area. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, um, so you got your name out, uh, out around here and shit. Yes, that's if they don't know that. He's French Montana cameraman. He shoots French videos and all okay. that shit. You know what I'm saying? He right. shot my video on Chinks Day. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So if y'all want to Google that's out right now, man. Benny Boy that's Roo. It's called uh, Benny Boy Roo featuring Coke Boy Cheesy Dio. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. So go yeah. check that out on all platforms, I hope. All yes, platforms. sir. Oh, yes, yes, sir. So you yeah, go check all that all out platform. and get familiar with who this is. You already know what it is. So what's the vibe with you like when you get in the studio and you, you're making a track, especially with the gang and shit? Oh, how that, man. How that come about? Um, I'm going to be real. Like, I got people in jail that's doing life, you know what I'm saying? And I got some people that just came home from doing like big time. So. Um, I do it a lot. Niggas behind the walls. Man. Salute to my guys behind the walls, man. Never forgotten, man. And um, most importantly, the people that's home. You know what I mean? Like I do it for them, yeah. and you know the people that stayed with me and been down with me since day one, and always supporting me. Feel me? So I really do it for them. The vibe be like almost natural, dog. Cause it's like they like the same shit I like. You know what I'm saying? Like right, right. we come from nothing. You know what I'm saying? And we, you know, try to make something out of nothing. You know what I'm saying? And that be the best thing. So it's like you know what I mean? We really ain't have shit. So you know what I mean? We come from nothing. And get a little song, it feel a little it song. Feel you know good, it feel good, you know what That's mean? a fact. It do feel word, good. Word. I came a long way. If you check out my early shit, you'd be like, damn, this nigga is broke. I ain't had nothing, but now I got, I got my money right. Niggas is moving up. You know what I mean? I got my first exclusive Coke Boy interview. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, BSF interview coming up next month. Oh, that's fire. Oh, who's that? What's one, what's one of those? It's one of the... Um, one of the artists on their label, I can't remember the dude's name. His manager reached out to me. I might, I got, now nah, I got some joint with um one of the artists too. Is it Rayo Bates? Where he from the Bronx? He from now. Nah, he from where's he from? Connecticut. I think he's from CT, but he's flowing. Mm. That's Benny the Butcher artist and shit too. Oh, shit. He's he's floating around. He's doing his little thing. Okay. Saying that, man, him got a video that we about to drop. I haven't sure. really dropped yet. I just right. kind of holding it on the cuff. That's so that's true. another. Something new y'all can see coming this year. The video's already shot. We already recorded it. Right. I mean, we already done did it. 
Um, shout out to Designer Drug, and shit. He shot the video on that or whatever. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, that's that's as far as I'm other new that's coming on as far as the new year. Right, right. Um, so you got a lot of things in the works and shit. I try to stay busy, dog. I, you know what I mean? I tell everybody out there from whether you do a rapper, you know, whatever you do as far as in the entertainment business, you know what I'm saying? You got to stay consistent with this shit because, you know what I mean? Everybody kind of doing it, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's like, yeah. what's special about you? You feel me? So I just try to bring yeah. something special about me, you know what I'm saying? Or something different to the table. Especially and, um, talent, though. You feel me? You know what I'm from what I've heard. So. so I appreciate that, God. Yeah, sure, and, sure. I, and I said salute to the ones that was there for me. Because, you know what I mean? Right. I always say this from the beginning. It wasn't always like this. Feel me? Like, right, you right. get from a hard, 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 dead work, um, mm -hmm. hard work and dedication just to get to where you at. I'm talking about long, sleepless nights, days. You feel you me? Got to like, do. I mean, I'm traveling state to state. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and it takes that. You know what I mean? Get up out of town. You know what I'm saying? Move around. Meet people. Meet people. Shit like that. Right. 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 That's what I got to start getting outside more, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real, because I be inside too much. Right. But I be meeting people and shit, though. So, I think you just mentioned, like, you got a lot of projects. Yes. How consistent are you yearly with these projects? I, um, I got some thing now. Like, before I was, to answer your question, I was on a 30-day basis, but I dropped trying, like, every 30 every, days. Every month. That's how it was before. Month. Right. Now, it's different. Like, I got it kind of strategic, where it's kind of like every other month, but sometimes it's a little sooner, because... Um, salute to me and my man TJ Chizzle Beats. We done learned the game where we can distribute our own music and we gotta upload it when we want to. Okay. We used to pay a lot of people. I paid a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Right. Just to try to put my music out and, you know, try to wait, you know, whenever they want to put it out. And so now it's like I got the privilege where I can put out whatever. So as soon as I record that, John, I got my MP3 file. Whenever I want to drop it tomorrow or the next day, I can drop it whatever. Drop so right, right. it's kind of to answer your question now whenever I really want to, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But um, okay. like to get fans or something, I try to give it every 30 days, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just That's to give cool. everybody. So you're still on every month, but yeah, every now and again. Every now and again, yeah. Right. Sometimes you might be even sooner than that, you know what I mean? Because there's so much competition out there, man. Nah, it is a lot. You know what I mean? It is a lot. Nowadays, you got to be DMX times two. Mm -hmm. you know, two albums in one year ain't enough. Nah. You see, he still that um uh, when uh, um that year uh the uh, I think the Grammy that year I think I forgot who it was I don't want to trickle but he didn't win that year he had he won, won two of um right. platinum that year two of his albums were platinum oh, that year yeah. and he still that year. won the Grammy that year right so that just shows you you know what I mean right. and that was those are classic albums right. like, I don't understand uh, yeah definitely Long Live the Dog too so rest in peace DMX rest the peace to the dog yeah so listen. Is Chisel produce your beats? He does um uh, um some of my beats, yes. Um, yeah. we, especially like we, we and him do a lot of work too. Um, like, so a lot like of projects and shit too. And all that shit. Yeah, yeah, so like a lot of projects me and him do. Like yeah. if you had like a lot of songs me and him was on, a lot of them he does make. That's that's okay. you know what I'm saying. So you know what I mean, if you want to grab some beats from bro, get right because bro definitely got some shit in the chamber. You know what I mean? He's not just a rapper. And he do DJ too. too. Like I mean, you want to get a venue popping or a wedding or whatever. Man, salute the bro, man. He get you right. He move around. He do it all. So exactly. you know what I mean. Um, but we're gonna promote you. Yeah, definitely. That's my guy. Building. That's sir. Grind right. season. Grind season right. in the building. Definitely. Right. Benny Boys, Extended Fam, Coke Boys. Right, right. So, okay. So, I see how you got the whole thing shaking and moving and shit. So, I don't really like to ask basic questions, but I'll skip that. So lately, I've been doing like top five and top ten. I've been getting a lot of slack in the comment section, like, because I know what I'm doing now. Like, I can fuck with people. You know right, right, like, right. I don't, I don't just keep it what it is. I do a little extra. Shit, you right. know what I mean? So my question to you: If you have a top ten, what is your top? 10? Rappers of all time, females, males, no criteria, whatever you want. to do. Biggie. Okay. That's your tenth or that's your no, number that's, one. That's my number one. Okay. That's but I ain't gonna go in order, but he's gonna be my number one. I'm gonna skip okay. there. After that, no order. Long okay. live uh, Biggie, by the way. Okay, okay. Um DMX. Long okay. live DMX. Definitely. Nobody's arguing with this one. <laughs> Jada. Okay. Salute to Jada, man. He definitely okay. was a part of my career too, man. Salute to him. He did some work to help my career out too. That's Another conversation for Salute to Jada and Slope to D Block and all that, man, for um, helping my career, you know, move around as well, too. Okay. So, Salute to him, definitely. Real, real standard guy. I actually met him. He's a real, real good oh, yeah? Dude. Yeah, he's real, real good. Do you have me on one of these mixtapes on this page? If you go there right now, it's called like, the hottest unreleased sign artist. If you look, look, and then you go to the bottom, like, where's like, the circle bubble? And you click on it and you swipe up the link, it's right there. Like, okay. I'm on there. Okay. I'm on that tape. Salute to him. That kind of helped my joint. Um, 
pictures out. And then I met him at a private party because I invited, I got invited to a private party. And that's how I met Lil Siege. And that's how I met Lil Siege, did our song for One More Champ. Mm. Salute to Lil Siege. Salute to, um, you know, um, Jada for them making that, you know, be possible. But that would never happen if it wasn't for Jada for me being able to get to the invite to the party. Right. So that was major. Then we shot the video. That's out right now, too. Um, Benny Boys uh, featuring Lil Seed, One More Chance. So, uh, we'll stream that. Salute to them guys, like I said. So Jada, definitely, because he helped my career as well. Um, uh, I'm working with them. I'm, I'm, try, I'm, I'm trying, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm trying to definitely stick, um, you know, and keep right. It's, I know what it takes, you know what I mean? Hard right. work and dedication. Right. Um, uh, Jay Z, okay. Nas, all veterans, all, all like top notch, top tier dudes. I got those female in there. I like Lil Kim. Okay, you know what I'm saying you like Matrix Lil Kim, the new no, Kim, nah, old, like, old okay, school, like, like Junior Mafia. Yeah, you know what I'm okay. saying? The old with Biggie yeah. on there. You know what I'm saying? And all that. Yeah, right, you know what I'm saying? Like, Let me say the old Kim. old school. Yeah, yeah, okay, you know what I mean? Back when she was really trying to make, you know what I mean, right, like uh, okay. uh, uh, impact out here. She older <laughs> now. She just got money now. You know what I mean. So sure. sal salute to uh, Kim. Definitely gotta go her in there. Okay. Um, okay. I ain't gonna lie. I'm with uh, Wayne. So that's seven. Oh yeah. I throw Wayne in there. Um. Let me see. Yo, respectfully, respectfully, I'm gonna throw people on. He said, "Like word, yeah." Because I like the hustle and he really did. Master P. Oh yeah, so that's, yeah. That's eight. Oh, now you can't give me you know what I'm saying? Um, we got uh, two more. Um, I'm gonna say uh, Jeezy. Okay, okay. In fact, solid. Now people are gonna be like, "Yo, this shit is this nigga." Bro. <laughs> I swear to God, this shit. <laughs> Bad. Respectfully, I'm a, and, 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 and like I'm a, like I got an old so like if y'all see where I was going, there's a lot of '90s in there. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's kind of what I grew up on. Like you know, what I mean, before I was a rapper, I was a listener. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I was shit. listening to the music. You know what I mean? yeah, yeah. And a lot of those artists I named, I was listening to their music. Well, not my my pops, my mom, or somebody from the OGs around me was playing that shit and yeah. it adapt to me. You know what I'm saying? So. That being said, you know what I mean? I kind of was what I was adapted to. And that's what made me love this shit myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold up, let me try to fuck with it. And I fell in love with the shit myself. So and that's, that's why, I, yeah, you know what I mean? That's why I kind of like pick, if you see my shit's kind of like 90s, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't get it. I like the new guys out there and the new shit going on a little bit. Just salute to the okay. guys. Yeah, salute to the shout out to the guys. You know what I'm right. saying? All them guys. But I mean, I don't forget them, where, right. the, you can't forget about where yeah, it started. You know what I mean? Where it came from. Right. Where it that, you know what I mean? So salute like, to the OGs. The, like, like the artists you mentioned, their era was like one of the toughest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So dudes got to like pay homage to the old time. You know? Like, it goes without saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. got to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's solid, though. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think I maybe do one more question because I need to take care of the yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, okay, yeah. All right, I'm gonna let you enjoy this flip too. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yes, sir. Yes, you see, I see the flavors too, man. Oh, yeah, you see mean, what it is. We're about to have our own screen soon. The Benny Boy and Grand Season Pack, but right yeah. this is the moment we got, you know what I mean? The okay. screens right here, I see them. You know what I mean? I forgot got to them. mention this. This episode them. is sponsored by Casino's Choice, Be the Boots. Salute to Casino. Where you get your top shelf New York cannabis. Best in the city, I promise you that we deliver too. It's a company that sponsors me. I, I gotta mention that. Okay. But, um, so yeah, so how'd you get into this rap shit? Like, was it, like you said, you got a lot of influence yeah, 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 right, most early definitely. on, especially the dope veterans, the good, solid artists that came out in the tough era? Was it because of them or? Uh, musical background, not nah, a little bit of both. You know what I mean? Like I, I definitely, like I, said, I fell in love with it, and I knew I liked it. You know what I'm saying? Just from hearing it, I said, "Listen, I always had it around me, so I knew that shit was a vibe." And then you feel me? Like you know, fuck around with niggas from the block, you know, gang type shit, and like you know, like y'all start doing shit. I mean, freestyling. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about like grade school type shit. You know what I'm saying? Beating on the table freestyling mm. or y'all just battling each other, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Just bullshitting around, whatever. And then like then, you know, niggas will say you got a little something and then you just start fucking around. And then like, you know, a lot of dudes that was hanging around was messing with the music too. So I kind of was just like, you know what? Maybe I could do this shit. And between you, I ended up going to jail and I locked myself down and then I ain't have shit to do. And I was like, you know what? Fuck right. it, I'm about to just start writing. Yeah. And I fell in love. 
You know what I'm saying? I fell in love with it ever since then. Like, right. like as far as like, you know what I mean? Falling in love with music moment, that's when I really loved it. I was like, oh, shit, I really could see myself really doing this shit. You know what I mean? Or, and as a career, you've been doing it how long? Now, it's about, I started like on a serious level, investing myself and I'm gonna break it down. Yeah, I started at 2015 recording with my boys. Like I said, you know, always, you know, love the shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I was scared to put up that bread. And I want to put that out there. You know what I'm saying? I was scared to put up that bread. So and my know. career was not really moving how I wanted it to move. And I was kind of trying to understand why the fuck my career ain't moving how I wanted to move. And I'm going to tell the people out there that's in my lane, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, trying to get, you know, to where I'm at. Yo, like, you have to invest in yourself. You have to put that money up to get to the next level because everything out of your car, you know what I'm saying? Right. Everything, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna give me nothing. You know what I'm saying? You ain't no shortcuts. You feel me? Ain't no right. shortcuts to this right. shit. You know what I'm trying to say? So, with that being said, I'm gonna be the first person to tell you, put that money up, and you'll be surprised if your career can take it. You know what I mean? Right. So, y'all heard that. Invest in yourself, believe in yourself, and trust the process. That right. ain't right. gonna pay out. I promise. So, y'all know what I think. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what it is, my boy. I appreciate that interview. I know that. Ready to get into the ball? Oh, yeah, let's get it. All right, bet. Get so, that high, let's get sure. it. so let me point this out to y'all out there that's going to be watching. Us. This segment is called If You Don't Have Bars Like This, Don't Even Be In. It's going down like that. This is volume one, the live volume. I got about 15, but the live volume is volume one. Stay tuned, we're about to go crazy. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we can keep pulling up, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, come on, man. You know that. Right. Come on. You're man. doing your thing out here. Yo, um, question like, I'm saying, if my man BJ Chisel, if he want to fuck around, how would he be able to fuck around? Come on. Saying? How would he want to? Come on, I got, I got questions. <laughs> Saying this is where it all started at, man. Like we checking off boxes right. as far as like making sure where it all started at, know who we is. You feel me? Right, right. For real. You gotta branch up. I get that. Respect. That. Yeah, like you know, after a while, you get complacent if you keep doing the same thing and you don't really move around because after a while, it's like you gotta. Well, I'm on something right now in my head where it's all about just meeting new people, bro. Like yeah, yeah. I know the people I've known before I started making music, that don't count. <laughs> Everything count after I started making music and who rocking with me after that. Right. And it's always new people because you know, you move around, there's a lot of people in the world. So it's just like right. moving around and working with people, networking. That's what I'm you know, you only as big as your network. That's a fact. That's why I never only relied on my family to support me. Like, I need more than just my family. Right, you know right, right, so, right. You know what I mean? So when they don't support me, I'm not even mad at them because there's a whole world out there. Like you said. Thanks, man. Like, I'm from Springfield. That's far, but people got to understand up this way, our states are small compared to down south. Like, you can put our states, all three of our states, in the state. Especially Texas. You know what I mean? So it's like, we got to expand beyond our blocks we gotta go to different neighborhoods we gotta drive and do some music okay. like like because okay. you drive in somewhere to let people know about you because that's when you really make an impact the further you go from where you're from doing music the bigger respect you get and everybody knows who you are they give you your vacation because all they know is you came there for some music they respect that they like you all the way out of music here. right for some music, yo, I respect that right sure. there off the rip. Like, yo, right. you here to do, 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 do the damn thing. You ain't right. playing. Right. Right. So it's like, I kind of got addicted to that. So I'm just about like trying to go other places and make sure other people know about me and I'm slowly expanding, slowly expanding. So how far out have you, have you been so far? And right now we done hit New York, Connecticut, Vermont, Rhode Island, and Mass. Okay. Now we're trying to touch Philly, New Jersey, Maine. You know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna take it up a whole nother level. You know what I mean? I got some some connects out there. I could I could put you know plug y'all in. You know what I mean? 
well, especially Philly, I got a lot of battle rappers that I fuck with. Okay. And then I got a lot of, lot of like, 90s type rappers out there. We got, we got, we like got, we got, we got the Wonder Tour coming. You know what so I'm saying? That's definitely the, right there. That's coming up like later on this year. Okay. We got a song called Wonder Tour coming out before that to push the whole movement. You okay. feel me? So it's like, yo, shouts out to Cheesy Dior. Shouts out to Coke Boy Droop Pop. Shouts mm-hmm. out to the fucking ATM Tech, man. That's the guy right there. Salute, bro, man. We're going to go check him after this. Bro. Those are the guys that we don't really hear about. Besides Cheesy. So shouts out to them. Yo, like. You know, you know, you know That's what I'm saying? Fact. That's a fact. <laughs> you got to know the team, man, or you don't, you don't know what's going on, or you ain't around, you ain't family, you feel me? Right. So, I already know you produce, you work with any the DJ thing. What came first, production or DJ? Um, I started making music first, but then I ran into roadblocks because I ain't had that much money, so I had... Started teaching myself how to record, teaching myself how to DJ, teaching myself how to make beats. And then once I started doing that, other people started coming around. So I started working with them and working with myself. And I've just been doing that for years. You mm-hmm. feel me? It seems like it come natural now? Or oh, like- yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I, sometimes I forget. Thank you. Cause when you doing the same thing for a while, well, you think other people do it like you. Nah, they don't. They ain't put all them hours and shit. You look back and be like, damn, yeah, I have been doing this for a long ass time. You know what I'm saying? So you get, you get, you get to a point where you get like a doctor's in the shit. You know what I'm saying? A doctor's or degree and all of that. You feel me? So it's like, I'm just trying to just make more music and put more time in because as you do that, you get better and better. So right. you never know what you're going to create. So I'm on it like that. I ain't really on the critiquing. I'm just making. All right. You ain't like that? Check this one out. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I so, ain't so letting you, that halt so the you creation your, your, process. Your feelings hurt when they say they don't like the beat. Nah, 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 nah. Because I don't believe everybody going to like everything I do. Because I make a lot of music. So it's like, I ain't going to hit every time, but. I'm going to get up and keep going. I ain't going to stop. I'm going to keep making music, bro, because that's what I do. I'm a music-making machine, so it's not about, oh, this one's bad, and then slow down production because I'm trying to figure out how to make it better for somebody else that's not even inside. You can't please everybody else, so you got to make what you like and just keep it moving. Right. That's a big You feel me? Yeah. So how does your sound work? Is it is it like your own sound uniquely? made or well sonically it is when people come to my studio but it also has something to do with the people that come to the studio being as if i'm by myself or if i'm working with an artist because his vibe comes in there and mingles with mine so we make something totally different Mm. versus if i'm by myself it's just me and the music and shit and we figuring it out but when somebody else is there it's a different story so which one do you prefer do you prefer the live one-on-one interaction where y'all feed off each other's energy or do you like just send them the beat pack and then figure it out? We vibe off each other in person and interact and it's like a fire and shit. We, it don't take take long. Like we may light it just sitting down like as long as we've been here, we may light it at right. best. Right. Came over, rolled up, heard the beat, had the idea when he came in the door, so he just started pacing. He's laying it down for you know we smoking and so, smoking and listening to it. That quick, light it, light it. You feel me? Right. So it's like go back and forth and then record. Yeah, we we got the same exposure to music. Like I was exposed to a lot of soul and shit. You know, what I'm saying I'm in the music now. I came up and rap. I'm trying to do my thing. So I'm like, he's doing the same thing. So it's like it's easy. We understand and respect. That's basically what it is. What we got going on. Here. Respect is mutual. I that. I that. You need that in this game because I like the, the energy, like I said, exchange when you do have two people physically there. You know what I'm saying? Bro, it turns it into a whole nother presence right, that right. a lot of people don't even understand and they scratching their head and they like, what is this? Right. This is nature. This is how it's supposed to work. You know what I'm saying? If you know how to use it right, you can right. get somewhere in the world. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's all about being selfless and respectful. You know what I'm saying? Moving forward. 
So that's 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 how I look at it too. Like I try to keep it like that and I try to tell the artists that if they just oh I just want to download this beat, you don't even know the producer, you don't even know if the beat fits you. You know what I'm saying? Like you just so like you said, you 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 branching out a little bit, that spreading out, you're getting out of your own comfort zone. Yeah, yeah. Moving on, you do get the opportunity to go further out. Say go on tour or you know a work opportunity. Mm-hmm. Take any opportunity or you, yes, you know, because that's kind of what we're doing already. We take the opportunities. We would be coming with you anyway, bro. Like we wouldn't even be here right now if we didn't take the opportunities to kind of do what you said on a smaller scale to that's get true. right here. Like, right. yeah, it's like, it, it's the goal. That's the motive to, like, get opportunities where we can expose ourselves more. And as we make these alliances, our weight is holding, getting heavier and heavier right, as we right, move right. along and shit. You know what I'm saying? We got more accolades because we making sure that we document everything that we're doing and let you know it's real. We ain't yeah. talking. We really doing these things. Like, it's going down. So watch us. We got... We, we like a snowball rolling down the hill and there's a lot of snow, so we just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Because we ain't rolling and not taking stuff. We taking you with us. Now you part of right, us, right. we part of you. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we gonna keep rolling. We right. gonna keep rolling, we gonna start, yo, because this is another thing. If you're trying to come up, when you meet somebody, see how you can work something out with them and get something rocking when you meet them. You know, maybe not the first time, but try to, you know, have a conversation where you letting them know what you do. And, mm-hmm. you know, if he on it, he going to let you know what he do. And, and mm-hmm. then you just put it on the table, like, let's make something happen. Like, let's not walk away from this this meeting right. without trying to do something. Because if y'all both run your businesses, I know it's some way y'all can work something out. Because even if y'all do the same thing. Or if it's different, it's even better because now you network and you're branching mm-hmm. out and getting with other people in other realms and you know what I'm saying? And you're trying to make it work because if you come with the right energy, they're going to feel you and they're going to see what's going on. He's networking. He's trying to make a right. close a deal on a network. Right, right. You feel me? That's what I try to do. And it helps because it really solidifies your network. Because now you done did good business, got a good repertoire with somebody else off of meeting them. That's what business is all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good thing to network. And like you said, even if you don't do what that person does, they always, it's always the opportunity. Right. right. You might need something like that. Yeah. You never know yeah. what you might need when you're right. in business. So you, right. you try to make as many connections as you can because... Right. It can help you out in the long run. Right. You could be like, I know somebody that does this, or like your friends, because you do podcasts, or oh, it's a rap, bro. We're going to try to line you up with some people from around my way to come through, right. talk to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? We'll point them out. We just seen face to face, so you already know this is going to be a streamlined connection. Right, right, right. right. That's right. what happens off of networking. Exactly. You feel me? Exactly. You gonna be like, all right, I got a fresh line all the way from Mass now. I can just get up in here and get get busy. Let them see who they is. That's something new. You looking for new? You looking for what's going on? Right, right. And you already see how we move. You know we ain't gonna be around nobody that ain't really moving at our level. We got people moving at our level at home. It's just we gotta just make the dots connect. And that's what this is. <laughs> you feel me? We making the dots connect so things can happen and start getting some more motion going. Get other people in situations because that's what I want to do too. That's part of networking too. That's how I can help. Right. And it's all each one teach one and take one with them. You know what I'm saying? It's something back to me. So what I can't help you with, I can teach you. What I can't help you with, I can bring you with me. You know what I mean? Right, right. Mm-hmm. You just gotta know your worth and you know, try to work with your worth. Right. right. <laughs> know your worth and work with it. Right. So have you any have you ever worked with people like that weren't up to par that didn't have their shit together and like you had to really like push them and motivate them to work and they still couldn't get it together? 
I would say no, because if you got enough uh, courage to get around me and get in front of the mic, knowing who I am, I respect you all for that. And I'll help you if you ain't right. And I won't even say anything about shit trash. You know, like that. That's mm. not what I do. Like, I'm all about helping. And I understand the mentality that it takes to say, okay, I'm about to make a song. You feel me? And you got to look at the world today. That's the real thing about the world today. So many people feel like that. You know that, right? So mm-hmm. many people, mm-hmm. yo, back in the days, it wasn't like how it is now. That's one of the good things about technology. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, it's a lot of people that feel like that. So it's relatable. Yeah, because now you get the visual behind the feeling. Right, right, right. right. And you get to share it with other people. So it's sure. like, man. Now they get to feel that shit too, where you're really coming from and feel the type of person you are. Too. Right, right. And a lot of people do that. So it's like, yeah, I just came to see my bro shine, man. I'm happy to be here, man, for real, man. I'd have been cool on it, just chilling up behind the scenes. I'm happy to be here, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. brother, and anytime y'all all welcome to come back again, I probably be, probably is going to be moving to a spot. Definitely got artists that got bars in Springfield, man. CT, like on these places that we've gone, we've met artists and just then built a whole little team of people that we rock with. Okay. So, yeah, everybody watching. Let me ask y'all this. There's a, um, there's a rapper up and coming I follow out of now. I don't know where he's from, though. It's called Eight Zip. Eight Zip, yeah, he's Heard from Boston. Boston. Yeah, shouts out to Eight Zip. Yeah, he's yeah. fire too, he's fire, yo. Right? He, that's the yeah. guy right there, man. That's the free niggas, like, this push is called free niggas and shit. That nigga's fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you trying to, you want me to connect you? That's my guy, man. He's singing his music and all that. Me and him, we, well, he, he growing, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's, but yo. he don't see me on Facebook, so he don't know I'm like 85K. Cause he and I, bro, but I'm saying, no see, that's how we do. I know. No, no, listen, that's my backyard, so I can, you feel mm-hmm. me? Right. Yes, I didn't see him with right. all that. Like, so right. I'll yeah. make it happen, bro. Like, that's right. what networking is, that's right there. Fact. That that's shit right there. We just make that shit happen now. Right. That's, that's my fact. guy. I'm a DJ. He sends me music. I talk to him. I can get his attention because right. he's sending me music. You feel me? Right. No disrespect to none, but that's how our relationship works right now. Right. I see right. him in the, out in the shows. He sends me music because he knows I play music. Mm. You feel me? So he's trying to send me music if he wants to hear what I got to say back, send some more, I like this. Right, right. So he, I can get in touch with him because this is what he, he wants this. Now he does. He's working. That's what I'm saying. He's so it's, it's going to be easy. To, bro, I'll make that shit happen so fast. Let's work. It's, a, work. it's electric. That's my yeah, guy yeah, right there. Crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've been following that boy for about two years and that boy's been working hard. Yo, shouts out to AZ. Yo, shouts out to my man DJ Drew, Frank Nino, Shara Eaton, Christina Gill, and CT. Um, they got a podcast called Blazing Bud Podcast. Yeah. Definitely. We did, yeah, we did an interview on there. Yeah. So um Shouts out to Chris Cartel, Hood He DJs, BRC. That's a group out of CT, man. They fire. Be on the lookout for them, man. We're going to try to connect them with you, too. Yo, these guys is fire. Yeah. 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 I need to, like I said, I need to connect up with them. There's so much going on. We got A Noid out in on CT killing it. I heard of A Noid. Yeah. I yeah, think I heard that name before. That nigga's killing it out there. Um, Mickey Fats is close. Oh, that. yo, salute to Mickey Fats. That's yeah, the guy yeah. right there. That's the guy got the, the school and all that shit too. Big five. 
Yeah, man. I appreciate you having me on here, man. You ain't seen the last of DJ Chisel Beats, man. I'm around, man. Fuck yeah. with your boy. Look me up. DJ C H I Z Z L E B E A T Z on all platforms. Yeah. Add me, spin the music, man. Listen right. to what I got to say. I'm sure some dope shit. I ain't I follow but I ain't checked the page yet, but definitely check the page. Well, y'all get into it, too, man. Listen. Thanks. Everybody know. That's it. We are out. Ball is on deck. Coming soon. And the head is going to be done. Peace. Peace.